The following podcast is on behalf of Lincolnshire Spirit Seekers, also known as LSS via the Holsey Mark Show. Haunted Wales, the Maid of Skia, S K E R. According to the stories, Elizabeth Williams was planning to marry her lover, Thomas Evans, the, the, but Elizabeth's father. Isaac haunted the Union after discovering Elizabeth's plans to run away with Thomas, a man he saw as unworthy of his daughter. Isaac locked her in her bedroom at Skier House, which stands on its own overlooking the sea upon Crawl, unable to leave the house and then forced to marry someone else who she didn't love. It is said Elizabeth died of a broken heart. Witnesses have reported that he heard high Pitch screeching noises, screams and wailing cries, even dark shadows and figures, mostly in the room where Elizabeth is thought to have been locked away. Those are, they also felt, felt, told of uneasy, feeling uneasy and dread of entering the house, feeling quite physically ill. Margaret the Spirit. In his 1980, 1780 book, Revelation of a, Revelation of a Spirit, apparitions of spirits in the Principality of Wales, the Reverend Edmund Jones tells of a number of ghost tales. Jones was trying to prove the existence of the supernatural. One story centers around a young girl, Margaret Richmond, from Pentank. She had fallen pregnant by a man, Samuel, from across the county bor- borough in Gamorgan, but not entirely freed thrilled by the circumstances. They did, however, agree to marry, but when the big day came, the room was missing, citing illness as his reason. Margaret cursed her would-be husband publicly, according to Jones, by praying to God that he would have no rest in this world or the next. The schoolwoman got her way, and Samuel died shortly. And this is where the, it gets a bit creepy. Samuel's restless soul was said to have stalked Margaret, he would appear at night and only to Margaret, and despite the fact no one else would see him, she said to Frode, his wife, quickly thrown a pail of milk onto the table, which then would settle itself without spilling. She became known as Margaret Ye... Yes, Y-S-P-R-Y-D, or in English, Margaret the Spirit. I was haunted for a long time, according to Jones. Margaret would play, would plan ways to avoid Smith Samuel's visits, and made a point not to travelling at night. But she was eventually trapped by her lover, former lover. He appeared in partial form with his arms missing and begged her for forgiveness. She finally, she finally forgave him, and a ghostly, a ghostly ex suddenly appeared, more wall, whole, and grasped her hand through through his fingers, which still felt, felt like this coat, decomposing wet moss. The Hanging Judge Known as the Hanging Judge, Wrexham born Judge Jeffreys took charge of the bloody assassinations trial in the 17th century. They led to thousands of those suspected of treason following the Monmouth Rebellion, being burnt alive at stake, hanged and beheaded. Most of those hangings took place, what is now is Skirinin, S-K-I-R-R-I-D, Mountain Inn. Dating back 900 years to the Norman era, the inn has seen countless brutal deaths. It is home to a courtyard, presided over by the evil judge who would send everyone who came before him to, ha- to ha- be hung. There were more than 180 criminals. Legend has it that over O when G Y G L Y N D W R used its base for the Welsh revolt against Henry I V of England. 
where he would rally the troops before raiding nearby settlements. Many wounded soldiers returned there after battle, some succumbing to their wounds. And there you hear the, and there you have, the, then you have the brutal medieval kings who spent the nights there. The prisoners who died in their cells are starved and never left. Room two is said to have been the mercy of the ghost of the 35-year-old worker Franny Price. Franny died of consumption in the 18th century, and she obviously loved the inn so much that she decided never to leave. And room one has a bathroom which used to be a prison cell. The White Lady The White Lady of Prestatin P-R-E-S-T-A-T-Y-N is said to haunt the town from world. Walking alone and keeping a distance from those who are just out for a literary stroll, the apparition is said to wear a flowering white dress, often walking between Rill and Princeton near the Noah Gardens. It is also known it's not known where the mysterious woman who the mysterious woman mysterious woman is, though many believe that she could be a nun. Many reported that she walks with her head buried in a book, perhaps a Bible, but Terra Funny say she has no face. One real man claims that most that many years ago he was walking his dog when she appeared in front of him. Within moments his dog started to shiver and whine and refused to move to the owner scooped up scoot the to the scoop, owner scooped him up in his, to his arms. According to the story, the spirit figure turned around and began walking towards him and, and the dog and the canine jumped out of the owner's arms and ran off in the opposite direction. Lady in a Welsh dress. In January 2012, holiday maker, holiday maker Paul Fainhan, F-E-E-H-A-N, took a trip to Abersock, A-B-E-R-S-C-H, to join a rambling countryside. The Manchester-born property developer paused for a rest with a friend on a bench facing a lake. Around his friend promptly took out his phone and started filming the beautiful scenery. Upon watching the video back, the pair discovered a dark figure standing just a few meters in the distance between them. The figure barely moves for the duration of the video, and after doing research, Paul was convinced the woman was a, was a figure. W- the convinced the figure was a woman in a Welsh traditional folk dress. Others said to not be sure, but some saying the figure is actually just a person walking a dog. The Silver Haired Man. The public toilets found opposite J D J W E S T Y dash R L E W C O H about any impulse. The Red Lion in the small village of Danis Malari D I N A S A M A W D D Y what M A W D D Y W apparently a hot spot for special sightings. One spectacularly Especially, secretly, mystery silver head man. According to the mysterious Britain.co.uk a website where those fascinated with supernatural, the silver head man halts the public toilets across the road from the hostelry in a snow down near National Park. The wandering woodsman, according to local legend, historian Lowin reads. There's a tale of a woodsman from Cover who said to have neglected his wife and children and left them to starve. Novan, whose interests include death and Welsh history, said, 
After the death he became a wanderer, but no one knew where he went. His spirit is to haunt the woods, said to haunt the woods, and he can be heard here and there through the countryside felling oaks. From morning till sunset he rests from twilight to dawn. He can be heard tap, tapping and felling the oaks, but task is never done. In times are filled with su- stories of the supernatural. A minute session that beyond came the attempts to communicate with it. It was actually a first hand account of somebody named Clearstone who attended his first science in Swansea in 1879. What happened if he was went to Victorian science? Well, the activity witnessed included the mysterious tappings and tiltings table, the uh, great erasions and impetrations of tambourines, the wandering stiffness of ghost whispers, the effervescent play of phosphorescent lights, and the shivery contact of cold and clamoury hands. <laughs> a pit of ghosts. One, this one is a story of a tragedy end. Following the disaster that had been foreseen, working in the mines during the 1800s was no easy job, but accidents seemed to be part of the profession. One of the worst, mo- worst mine disasters to occur during the Victorian age era was the Morf- Mor- Morfa, M-O-R-F-A, colliery disaster of 1890, where 89 people lost their lives in an explosion. It saw a Port Talbot Colliery become known as the Pit of Ghosts. But the strange thing about the Malfa disaster is that many of the ghost sightings occur before the event, not after it. They have seen a premonition such as the ghost dog of Malfa, which is spotted on a regular basis prior to the disaster. You have been listening to a podcast on behalf of Lincolnshire Spirit Seekers also known as LSS via the Holes of the Mountain.